Hey everybody, this is Whiskey Wednesday Weekly. Uh, tonight we have a unique episode. We actually have three, uh, we're going to call it the Golden Girls episode. Uh, why not? Because they're in their golden years. Uh, we have Joan Bentley, Jeanette Blanchfield, another nice known as Gritty Granny, you guys probably have seen her, uh, my mom, and then Bana, Janelle, Cena, Cena <laughs> Janelle Strode, sorry. Uh, you guys might know her as Bonna, a lot of you watchers, but yes, her name is Cena Janelle Strode, sorry. Um, she's my mother-in-law, which is Mila's um, mother, and then um, Joan is Tammy's mom, who's been on a couple of the shows. She interviewed me, as well as she also um, had her own show on my Whiskey Wins of Weekly Episode 2. So nonetheless, we was, we're going to just do a, something a little bit different. Normally, I'm hitting on everyone's one story. Uh, talking about that one person, but tonight we're actually going to do things a little different, be more like a panel. Uh, we have some questions and things like that. So because of that, uh, I don't have everything memorized. I am going to use my phone for some notes. Uh, but the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to do like a quick, fun, top 10 questions and answers just to kind of break open, you know, kind of the mood. Okay. So Joan, top 10, beard or no beard for a guy? No beard. Okay. Uh, Mom? Beard. Janelle? No beard. Okay. Hairy chest or no hairy chest? Hairy chest. Okay, Mom? Hairy chest. Do you know? No chest. Okay. No hair. No chest. <laughs> no hairy chest. Okay. Uh, cologne or natural? Like shower or just normal? Mm. Cologne. Cologne, Mom? Cologne as long as it's not strong. Well, yeah. Cologne. Okay, cologne. All right. Jeans or slacks? You know, like just casual khakis or more like jeans? <laughs> I'll do uh, casual khakis. Casual for 300, Jack. <laughs> jeans all uh, the way. Know, mm. jeans, versus jeans, okay. Uh, slow dancing or fast dancing? Slow dancing. Slow dancing, Mom? <laughs> slow. Janelle? Slow dancing. All right, cool. Uh, favorite alcohol, style, and brand? For me yes, or? For you. Wine. Okay, what brand is your favorite? Hmm. If you could pick any wine. Kendall Jackson. Perfect. Okay. Plug for you, Kendall. Go. Vodka. What brand? <laughs> the cheapest they got. <laughs> like charcoal rocks or something? Yeah. Whatever that is. I think I'm doing uh, poor, poor Freedom, poor freedom from or something. Roush. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? I'm going to say Tito's. Go. <laughs> She's at least going to go on the yeah, high side. Yeah, she's going on the high side. Yeah, yeah. Huh. That Liar. One, I'm excited about that one. No, she, that's her favorite. She just get, is going to buy it all the time. No. Uh, let's say Dream Job. God. If you didn't do what you did, and maybe your career was a dream job, that's fine. And I will say it was, but my second choice uh -huh. would have been a pharmacist. Mm. Interesting. And then obviously pharmacists, I mean, they're still here today. It's more like a big you know, right. corporate thing now. But back then, that was like a very prestigious career in the 70s mm -hmm. and 80s for sure. Mom? I always wanted to be a teacher. Oh, wow. <laughs> you and Joan could have you were a pharmacist, unfortunately. <laughs> Go. And a hairdresser. Was that your dream job? Yep. Really? And that's what Absolutely. you did? Absolutely. All right. You, you, For 40 years. I've never heard you regret it. Oh, uh, no. Never. <laughs> uh, beach or country? Where would you rather live? Country. We have some dogs dying in the background, actually. <laughs> We're out in the country, if that doesn't give it away. Country, Mom? Country. Country? Country. Country. Ah, they all live in the country. You actually are kind of more in the suburbs a little where you live, right? I mean, you live in a country club estate, though, right? But it's out in... It's not on the beach. That's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, favorite show that you watch now? TV oh, show? Oh, Jesus. Family Feud. Really? Okay, cool. And CIS. <laughs> Any crime show that involves limbs and cutting and people dying? Go. Yeah. Two and a half men. <laughs> hey, that's Repeat my, after repeat. That's one of my... I can watch that show. Every, well, I do every every day before I go to bed. Oh, uh, and Andy Griffith. I'm, I'm into the old black and white. Yeah, that's well, my new that's, thing. That's an old classic. Mm -hmm. We're dating themselves, obviously. <laughs> um, party or early to bed? <laughs> now or well, late or whatever. earlier? What's your preference? It depends on where I am, who I am with. Okay. Um, probably party. Okay, mom. Here lately, early to bed. <laughs> okay, Janelle. I'm usually early to bed nowadays. <laughs> What's your preference? Oh, I'd love to party. Yeah, all we party. all would. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm not saying how you currently live. <laughs> we all know that that's We're lucky. We, we look at the clock like, yeah, is, yeah. It, is it 9 o'clock? Yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I wanted to uh, start off with a brief well, introduction. Well, that was good. That was good. With a brief introduction. So, Joan, tell us a little bit about where you're, where you're born and not necessarily 
from where, but where you're from originally, where did you grow up? What did you? What is your profession, or was your profession? Well, I was born in West Virginia. Oh, okay. So even though and Tammy so, was born up in California, you were actually born in West Virginia. I am a hillbilly. Oh, okay. And Ain't nothing wrong with that. I love my hillbilly. Uh, Background roots. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Because Absolutely. you can marry your cousin, you don't even know he's your cousin. <laughs> you know? Right, so, right. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's fun times. Otherwise, um, you didn't marry your cousin, though, did you? Oh. I don't think so. But <laughs> I have to tell them to turn the air off. But go ahead, keep going. Yeah. So then, when I was around three or so, we moved to California. My mom and dad packed up the car with the kids and no job, nothing going on but you know you're a kid you have to do what your parents right. say so we ended up in artesia california and i remember my dad saying oh my god who would ever pay 45 dollars an acre for that swamp land in orange county oh yeah, yeah. oh wow. my god wow and that's yeah. how you guys moved to orange county uh, well they ended up in Portland first because they had some friends, right. and it rained every day, and my mom said she wouldn't stay there, and she told my dad, drive to the sunshine, so we ended up in California. Wow. And then eventually, uh, we ended up in West Covina, mm. California, and I went to Cal Poly Pomona, and that's where I met my beloved husband. Right, right. I was the second class of girls okay. at Cal Poly, so I had wow. the pick of the litter. And, <laughs> and what's interesting is you and... Uh, Tammy and Alex both went to Cal. Oh, no. we have uh, eight or nine or ten people graduating yeah, yeah. from Cal Poly. Awesome, awesome. And if you throw in the San Luis Obispo ones, even more. Yeah. But anyways, that's kind of how it was, huh? The pick of the litter there, there and everything went from there. Yeah, that's how you started your career. Awesome. And, that's, and yes. what is your career? What was your career? Was well, teacher. I was uh, teaching. And what did you teach? I'm going to take a second while they're talking to you guys because the air, air conditioning is still running and no one's listening to me in the house. Go ahead. You, you, what no, did you I taught um, in Irvine, California for uh -huh. almost 27 years, uh, primary grades. Oh, loved it, loved it, loved that's it. The, that's the good age there. Yeah, they still love their teacher and right, I love right. them. And oh, that's in those, sweet. In those days, we could actually give hugs. Right. Yeah, in right. those days, you can't yeah. do it now, honey. So there we go. Now I need a glass of wine. <laughs> and what about you, Mom? Sorry, I'm back. I'm what a, what about me? Oh, I was born in Eastern Maryland. Uh, lived there all my life, actually. Yep. Except until for here. Until you just moved out here. Lived. Yeah, until I came out here. I worked at a uh, grocery store when I was younger. Well, first of all, I started babysitting, make money. We don't need that far back. Okay. <laughs> then I worked at a grocery <laughs> store. Babysitting. Then I started Black & Decker, which I stayed for 28 years. And what's and then, Black & Decker, for people who don't know? Oh, uh, Black & Decker? You don't know no, what Black & Decker is? Not everyone's watching knows Black & Decker. Uh, well, um... They make vacuums DeWalt. and all that stuff, yeah. Well, we bought DeWalt. Oh, you bought DeWalt. Yeah, okay. we bought DeWalt. It was um, a factory type work, Oh, right? yeah. Okay. And I did numerous jobs in there, and then I ended up with Cetera that bought the same building when Black & Decker moved to Mexico. Right, and what's Cetera? It was a um, government. Okay. Uh, we we did we did <laughs> we that's, did that's um, incognito. We yeah. built a uh, government thing. Yeah, you built like uh, you built cabinets for military, right? Yeah. For military people in when yes. the uh, war was going on, right? Or at least after mm -hmm. the war, or whatever. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. And you ended up here. We all, everyone, pretty much knows. Yeah, the we story already here. know that yeah, I yeah. got sick and yeah. ended up here. And right. Left Maryland after my whole life out there. And but. not that it's not nice in Maryland in October, but I don't know if we'd be doing a lot of outside recording in, in October in Maryland at night. They're 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 getting the rain that we wish we could get here. Mm, you really wish for rain? I don't. I I, I think we need some, Ken. <laughs> it's fine. We'll, we'll have plants. We have water for that reason. Anyway, next on is uh, Janelle. And you, Janelle, tell us a little bit about where you were born. I know you're I kind of... I was born and raised in Utah. Right. Ephraim, right? Ephraim. Is that the town? Ephraim, Utah. And if you could, is that pickable on a map, or can you see that? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Is it a big city? <laughs> no. Well, no, that's little. what I was trying to say. No. It's a pinpoint. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Blink and you've gone through Ethan back in the 60s anyway, right? And I got married, and my first husband went in the Navy for 20 years. And then you got, he got and stationed out here? Is oh, yes. Oh, okay. yes. And then we traveled all over to Virginia and Tennessee. And okay. Moved the kids everywhere. Had two daughters. Mm -hmm. Then we got divorced. Okay. And I remarried 
Charles, mm -hmm. and we moved to Hemet. Mm -hmm. And I had my own business going door to door with <laughs> my beauty shop, which was fantastic. That was another 20 years. Oh, so. wow. Yeah, that was a it's long time. Good. I remember that. Yeah, how long that was. I, yeah. That's, I forgot it was that long. Now, bringing up, first of all, the timer went off, so we're going to do a little bit of a taste. I was going to say, we haven't had a shot yet. Well, I was letting you guys get through your introductions. So, what <laughs> Are you I'll more do... relaxed now that he hasn't come up with anything stupid? <laughs> so what we're no, gonna... I have, but he hasn't. <laughs> no, you haven't. You've done fine. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take Mom's favorite. <laughs> it's called Screwball, which is the peanut butter whiskey. It's just a and little And again, these sip. are really t tiny. We're not doing shots tonight. These ladies, you know, aren't whiskey drinkers. As you could tell, one was wine, one was vodka. Well, two were vodka. Um, but we are going to taste it. So you're not doing. She's not doing vodka. What? Bama's Mom, not doing I'm vodka. I'm saying they're vodka drinkers in general. Oh. You lady, they're you guys. Come on. I like this. This is pretty cool. I've actually so we're had this before. Bar. Good. It's good. All yeah. right, let's go. I don't think there's a lot of people that haven't had this before. At least not in this house. You like it? <laughs> a little bit of a burn, huh? <laughs> So what I'd like to do now. That's a little. Yummy. Yeah, it's a little taste. It's been a while since you had that, ain't it? Yes. Yeah, so is that all we get? <laughs> no, we get we, of that. Get more. You'll get more. If you want bigger shots, you're more than welcome to have bigger shots. You just <laughs> let me know. I just know these two aren't whiskey fans, but I broke out the easy stuff. Look, Joan. Crown Royal. Does that bring a familiar? You know, apple. So <laughs> that was Tammy's favorite when she uh, interviewed me. It was pretty funny. Um, brought back some memories, she said. Uh, speaking of memories, um, so let's talk a little bit about... Uh, you're, um, I guess you're all widowed, correct? Uh -huh. Yes. Right. I mean, that was I. That was very interesting part of this when I sat back. Correct. Yes. It's definitely not fortunate, but I was interested to, when I was preparing for this, I was like, wow, all three of them are actually widowed. Um, so that's not that that doesn't happen, but you guys are still fairly young. I mean, yeah, I hope so. Well, I'm just saying. I mean, seventy. I'm not. Seventy-one. You're what? Seventy-four. <laughs> Seventy-six. Oh, that's still not. You're not old. I'm but, the um, oldest. <laughs> you are the senior, yes, but for sure. But you still got so much energy and vibrancy. Yeah, yeah, she is a character. That's for sure. Um, so I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about kind of how um, one of the one of the thought processes I had going in was maybe how you guys, when you grew up. You know how you were talking about West Virginia and, and maybe when you moved out here, even as a younger person, how do you feel that the things have changed and kind of where the, the world is going now? Not so much political stuff, just, just kind of how we're living day to day versus how you did it when you were our age, even 30s, 40s. Like what would you point out that might be something that, you know, you noticed the biggest difference? Well, the biggest difference is the whole computer age. Okay. I didn't grow up with any of that. Okay. None of it. Right, I mean, right. we didn't have a TV. We're lucky. Oh, okay. TV. okay. Until yeah. 1949. So I was five years old. All right. When we got our first TV. Mm -hmm. I remember going to a hardware store. I think it was Ace Hardware. Right. To watch on TV when the little girl, Kathy Fiscus. Okay. Was Google down that. in the well. Oh, okay. That and one. people right. were trying to get her out. Uh -huh. And we went as a family to watch that on <laughs> You went TV. to the family, really? I'm and we just saying that's TV. interesting. Like you would actually all in go a, in to Ace Hardware to watch a TV to watch this rescue. We were wanting to was know what was white? going on. Otherwise, it was just on the radio. Of yeah, course yeah, yeah. it was. <laughs> but well, we actually had a car. <laughs> yeah, that's good. <laughs> One car. You didn't have wagons back and then. And we that's all good. got in the car. And we. I remember sitting in front of... of um, the windows of a hardware store with many other people, which we were allowed to do in those amazing? days. That we didn't unreal. have to have masks on or be six feet apart or whatever. Watching people trying to save this little girl. Mm, mm, well, right. And then uh, it wasn't maybe five or six months later, my dad bought a TV. Oh, yeah? <laughs> oh, nice. my God. So you didn't have to go stand in front we of a hardware. We didn't have to stand in front little? of a hardware. I mean, were like the little countertop ones, probably, right? Oh, or no. It was, oh, a it was big the console. console yeah, yeah, yeah. The console, console was yeah. the one. I remember I mean, that my too. dad went all out. <laughs> all out. Yeah, there this. you go. Yeah. So I, I guess, I, I'm not sure if I'm, if I'm answering your question correctly, but um, we didn't have any way to communicate with each other except by um, writing mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right uh, 
calling on a phone and sometimes if it was long distance you had to go through an operator yeah. right yeah i remember that even when i was a kid yeah connect wow. with someone right you yep. push zero and you'd ask for someone else yeah. well mm -hmm. my cousin was the telephone operator Strange. number please <laughs> back you know. then i think they showed people actually like connecting you on a wall or something that's they like, did that's how yeah. long ago that was yeah, yeah. It's interesting. and so i think the biggest difference is it's so much easier today i wish i knew more about computer stuff but you can connect in a minute, right? Right. Rather than yep. not finding out five days later that someone died, or, right? Right. Or which, a baby was born, or yeah. Right. Whatever. Which I feel like goes into. I'm only bringing out the point when you bring that up. I feel like that's a good point because that is what has taught our society. I feel like to be a very impatient society, right? Um, obviously, it's instant gratification because of the computer age and the phones and all those things. I remember as a kid, you know, you have to save and things like that. Now, instant gratification. Like, if I don't get it on my phone or you don't tell me the answers on my phone, how do I find out? So it's it's kind of a different society. It's instant. In a yeah, blink, you can find out. We are kind out. of spoiled, mm -hmm. aren't we? Right. So that's that's a huge point. Now, for sure, especially being an educator for all those years, you actually saw the trend go because you didn't have computers in school probably when you started. Are you and kidding me? We didn't have it when I ended. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, OC. Uh, but anyway, Mom, what about you? What, what about, about you? me? What are your thoughts? And, and don't go with the same answer, but what do you think? No, but I, I agree with well, basically. Course, we don't think you disagree. No, but I'm just saying I came five years after her. Right. <coughs> but um, I remember watching Lawrence Welk on a black and white TV at my grandparents and um, Ed Sullivan. And, and I didn't own my first TV. I don't know. You were a baby, I think, when I finally got one. And it was like this big. So what do you think the biggest difference is in when the way you grew up oh, versus God. computers Say, was there anything else i mean how we raise our children do you feel like you know the way you raise well, the kids and, it's like back then you could run the street i don't mean that wrong you could go you, yeah. you could go out and, and have fun yeah. and leave your Boy, doors open right, right. and not have to worry about um somebody hurt well every now and then there was a episode but very very seldom right and um you like everything says. You knew when to come home. You knew when it was dinner time. Right. When the street lights come on, you know you better get your right. butt. Yeah, yeah. Right. Street lights. Get your that butt in like the house. Your, that was like your dinner call, right? Yeah, because right. you were in. You were ha you were hanging out with your friends right. on your street, right. which you lived in a big neighborhood and all. You were friends with everybody. So when the street lights come on, if you didn't hear, well, this guy across the street, Mister Smith, he had this whistle. Good God, with his mouth. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did it. And he, when he whistled, every kid knew it was time. They better get home, and we better get our ass home because Mr. Smith is whistling for something, so we got to get home. <laughs> so yours was, your your thought process is the, the way that the freedoms are a little different now. Like, oh, yeah. Because of the, I think that, in your point, is that the computers and the cell phones have made it easier for people to get. And I'm glad about that. And things like that, yeah. but also found. I mean, no, I'm, I'm saying, oh, like, no. I agree to you. Your, the whole technology has made it. And like, and like you said, records. like you said, that you can find out stuff. Like, I've been trying to do a lot of recipes, so I can go on Google mm -hmm. and look up anything to find out how to cook it, and I like that. Or I can ask Alexa; she'll tell me too. <laughs> and that, I mean, this is crazy. I, you know, I got Alexa lives down there with me now. <laughs> That's mom's best friend when she's lonely. <laughs> now, Janelle, what about you? I mean, if it's the same, it's the same. It's pretty much the same. We all um, grew up. We the same still. Way. You know, go out and play in the street, and mm -hmm. we could drink in the hose. Or, yeah, yeah. You know, we all had a little telephone. You drink tap water? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm joking, because that's but a big thing. You know. my mom and dad did get a console TV our first, and I remember the rabbit ears. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. But our Christmases were so special, and... And you had socks how they, and stuff. Uh-huh. No, how I'm being they serious. Decorated. Like Christmas. No, I'm serious. Yeah, you Christmas decorated. wasn't you like it is today. Oh, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. You all got about... one or two gifts. That yep. was yeah, it. Yeah. That was it. It was all about the the, the Christmas exit. Right. Uh, the big adventure. dinner. Adventure. Yeah, yeah. The big the dinner. dinner. We always had decorating the tree. relatives yeah, yeah, yeah. over. Like every yep. Sunday yeah. you'd have a What's funny is I'm not 70, but I also, like you guys have raised us the way you were. And that was as a kid now, too. I mean, yeah, because you don't, you don't, nowadays, nowadays, they, nowadays, kids, 
kids just want, want, want. Yeah, I know. And because and it's back the then, instant gratification we that didn't, goes right into it. Yeah. We didn't have that option. Well, plus, you know, you it wasn't even the, the money we're, so much. I was tickled to just, get a doll. I didn't care what it looked like. Just give me a doll. Because, and again, that's to your point, the TVs weren't there. Right. So the advertising weren't there right. as much. Right. You didn't get that, that instant. Yeah, but back I then we had Penny's catalog. Oh, yeah, I remember. Oh, all yeah, that. and, and Sears and yeah. stuff. Oh, God, when yeah. it came in, here we are, and circled everything on there. Not that we got it, but Guess anyway. What? What time for we shot. have to circle a bottle of whiskey. All right. Well, and the other option is, uh, when I was growing up, my mom didn't drive. My oh. dad went to work every single day. So you had to stay. So there was no car. So you know they had the bakery truck. We had the milkman. Yeah. We had the. Um, the I remember that. The lady would come to collect for the garbage, and we'd say, "Mom, the garbage lady is here." Mom would say, "Don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't go <laughs> her." But it was totally I do remember different. the bakery truck and the milkman. Ooh, oh, yeah. The milkman. So oh, yeah. And it so was... back then, guys, they used to have stuff delivered to their house, like they do now with, like, bonds and all these things. Oh, yeah, but we it's had... It's gone back in the whole world. Now they can deliver They used to groceries. bring the best donuts in this bakery truck. Oh, the best. Oh, my God. Hell, yes, like We house. used to watch um, um, Mickey Mouse Club come home from school oh, yeah. and run in there and then that bakery truck would pull up and we man uh miss mayor would get us up because we were at my friend's house and get us a dozen of those cream filled donuts and we watched mickey mouse dust white dust everywhere <laughs> okay right. you're so funny you said miss mary i taught the person i taught with her mother was Miss Mary. Oh God! And she That's said, "I can you see you paths. and you." Oh, that was that was the lady. Yeah, I remember. I don't yeah, remember. The, I remember mom talking friend. about that. That's hilarious. Okay, are we ready? This is, this what is, is this? the uh, apple crown. Oh, the crown. Yeah. But it's apple. Now, can I just say one thing about this? That yeah, please. Yet. My husband Kent. Yeah. Loved mm. Crown Royal. Of course. He thought they ruined it with the apple. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> I thought oh, it tastes good. pretty good. Well, you gotta remember. <laughs> but he liked the crown. Yeah, yeah. And I'm not a huge fan of any sweet whiskeys. I buy them for. That wasn't bad. But my thing is, I agree. Like, I drink real, like, solid whiskey. Like, if you're gonna drink crown, mm -hmm. why put flavor in it, right? Exactly. <laughs> but that, I, I saw an advertisement for um, Captain Morgan apple. Ew. I know, that sounds Spiced disgusting, rum. ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'd like to talk to you guys a little bit about. It's probably a little bit more of a, a, a positive, not that any of that was negative, but we'll start with uh, you, Janelle, since your last question was kind of cut short. So as a a mother of two, you guys are all moms, obviously, yep. you've all had different kids, what is it you feel like might be the proudest, I guess, your accomplishment as a mom? Because I know a lot of times, you know, moms, um, you know, even today, you know, get the rough end of the stick sometimes. So. What is it that you feel that you feel like I'm the most proud of this as being a mom? After my divorce, I was a single mother, and my big wish was to get both girls through high school. Okay. And that was that was where it was at. I that was a real big accomplishment for me. To to help them just because they were you were they were uh, I think Mila was 14 at the time. Right, somewhere in there. So that was like her freshman year, pretty much. Right. So to actually get her through high school and help her that. So that was like being a mom, and and you mean like not so much income well, wise, just, right? Right. Right. Just being very little income. Yeah, yeah. Just trying to be able to survive as that. And working every day. Yeah, because you guys being were all working moms. Right. I mean, that's what's right. interesting too. Uh, that's another point I'll bring up in a minute. What's about you, mom? Short answer. <clears throat> Basically the same thing. Just being proud that. All my children <laughs> made it this far. Yeah. That I've also been single in my lifetime. With, oh, yeah. And um, I've raised some pretty remarkable kids. And, mm -hmm. and God knows I've tried, and they turned out pretty awesome. Yeah. Um, I got, well, I got one daughter I ain't too sure about, but anyway. <laughs> I got Kenny, who is an awesome son. <laughs> and for some reason, he wants his mom around, which he hasn't had for many a year. That'd be why. Yeah. And and then my beautiful daughter back home in Maryland that I've lived with all my life. Um, That's Joan's boyfriend coming to pick her, pick her up. <laughs> Other than that, I'm just proud of how you all turned out. So and your that, accomplishment is the kids themselves. Yeah, yeah, I think I, and I don't know if I'm, I'm not sure I have anything to do with it. But there's something, that, wait a minute, 
If there's a thing Mila has. I don't want to say anything wrong. But. There's a thing Mila has in her right. thing that yeah. I have never. Every time I come over, I look at that. Right. What is it? When your husband treats you like a princess, you can tell he was raised by a queen. Oh, look at you pulling it out. And I, that has always, always made me feel good. And, yeah. and you know, I ain't no special case. <laughs> You're not a queen. <laughs> no, I'm not a queen. But you did a good job telling me what's wrong. Right, right. and you learned from and my mistakes. Key, yeah. Okay, I'm yeah. done. Yeah. Joan, what about you? Okay, <laughs> pretty easy, really, for me. Uh, we raised our kids, to be honest. Mm-hmm. To be polite, mm-hmm. to respect people, okay. mm-hmm. and to take responsibility for your actions. Oh, great! Right. And great. I feel um, they did that. My children have lived up to that. Right. As right. Sometimes I have to remind them of <laughs> certain <laughs> things that <laughs> I wanted to instill with them. Yeah. But those are the four things that uh, Kent and I really promised each other mm-hmm. that we would try to raise in our children right okay very good You're very good yeah so our um timer didn't quite go off but i said it earlier than we actually did the shot so we're going to do it anyway okay. okay so because i want to stay on track with those because that's my internal timer and i've got a really good question i didn't want to get into and have that interrupt okay so we're going to do southern comfort next okay and this is the only one that's one bounced around. the only <laughs> one that's not an actual oh shit. oh Bonnie, you're going to be a mess. No, I'll take that one. Okay. <laughs> Did you see you that? You go, Joe. Did you see that? <laughs> Woo! This bashful. Yeah, she went I'll take that one. <laughs> and you know what? Do you like Southern Comfort, Joan? I don't know. Oh, my God. It is so good. Keep you're going to love it. Yeah, even I like this one. Well, this no, I'm into really Southern good. and I'm into Comfort. <laughs> there you go. There you go. You're going to love go. this one. All right, let's go. Oh, this one's so good. I mean, it's a very, very... For a whiskey? It's one that you don't really make a face. <laughs> oh, Look, you say, as you oh, say that, isn't that what she's Isn't that what she's Yeah, drinking? but she's mixing it. <sighs> Janelle? It tastes like um, cinnamon to me tonight. Well, that's because mm. you had some apple and some peanut butter. Oh, yeah, it tastes shot good. <laughs> that's Man, hilarious. That was good. <laughs> Ball is having a fit. <laughs> I right, bugged so, out of her head. <laughs> I think my next question, and, and this is more for, you know, it kind of goes back to when, you know, we were talking about when you guys were younger. But ultimately... God, are we supposed to remember when we were younger? No, but when, as, as we already talked about, you were three working moms, okay? Yeah. Which, in the 70s, okay, because okay. I was born in 71, so that were means you? you were a mom, okay? okay? Were you? I have a trouble. With me. I get you mixed up. And and when was your first child? Sorry, if you don't mind me asking. Oh, when KJ was born? Yeah. Uh, let's see, I was 19. He was born, he was born in 64. Four. Okay, so you were a mom at sixty four in sixty four, and when yes. was your when was uh, Steph born? What year? Sixty eight. Okay, so we have two moms uh, in the sixties, and, and Lisa, Lisa was, was also born in obviously sixty seven. Yeah, yeah. sixty seven. So we have three moms that are in their nineteen twenties in the sixties as moms working. Correct. Uh huh. You guys all worked, or yep. you didn't at the time. You didn't work till later. Right. Correct. I okay. didn't work till later. I finished okay. school. Both okay, but still, so, you, you, you had kids while you were working at some point. Correct. At some point. Right. You Tammy were a was like mom at all some nine, point. ten years old. When okay. I, I didn't go to work till Mina was in school. Yeah, but I, I didn't mean, work. They were, you were you were still a kid. You were a mom working. You weren't a stay-at-home mom until they were graduate college. Is my point? No. Yeah. I didn't work at first because remember I had Lisa and went to join your father in Colorado. Right. And I didn't start working until after he left for Vietnam. So I guess you guys are probably mistaken. I mean, not that you're you have every right to under- misunderstand my question. All I'm saying is, at some point you worked while oh, yeah. you had while kids. Oh yeah, while you had kids. Yeah, oh, that's what I'm trying oh, yeah. to say. Yeah. Okay, not adult kids, but kids. Took time off to have so, y'all, and then had good work. <laughs> the thing I'm trying to to ask on that is because today is such a different society, and it's super hard. First of all, for you know, moms to even stay home, depending on where you live, especially California, people working two and four jobs just to keep it going. I know. Especially I guess now. my thing is, as a working mom, what was it you felt was kind of the biggest, were you ever ridiculed as a working mom in the no. 70s and 80s? Mm-mm. Okay. Because I know I that wasn't. was... No. That was kind of the standard, correct? No. You'd be more ridiculed now mm-hmm. if you were a... a no, I, I think it'd be no. the opposite, right? Because there was a time that... It was supposed to be a stay-at-home mom era, is all I'm saying. So I just didn't know if you guys ever had any issues with that. No one ever gave you guys the business. No, not me, anyway. Okay, good, good. No, I never had 
Uh-uh. Everybody. So what was the hardest part? Because you were married. You were all three married, correct? Mm -hmm. With at some point. Even at some point in time, except when you said you got your divorce and they were younger. But how was it being a single mom? The Did you thing feel was like you... trying to find a babysitter so you okay. could work. Okay, right. okay. Right. That's that a good point. That was the problem right. when you had small children. Okay. Joan, you're, you're thinking well, over there. I don't, I don't know if I understand the question. I was never a single mom. No, no, no. Neither said... one of you were. I just meant a working mom. Oh, you said single. No, I said you were not, none of you were single moms, right? And then I, and you all said no. So okay. I'm saying working mom. A working yeah. mom? I never had that issue because I didn't start working until uh, full time until Tammy was like 10 years old. And then she came to the school where oh, I was. Oh, she went to the school. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so I guess I can't relate to that question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I did babysitting for my nephew and a friend whose okay. moms had to work, and I was the stay-at-home mom to be there for them. Okay. Yeah. So, so. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, I was just trying to figure out if there was a if it was a hard time in you guys. As, and I had as a Uncle Brian mom. help me out. Okay. A lot when okay. when I well so I, Uncle I Brian sent was you kind of like a babysitter. Yeah, I sent you. Well, you almost killed you a couple times, <laughs> but I sent you to a a, a daycare center <clears throat> for a couple years. But then when that, I couldn't afford it anymore or whatever, because um, this was when I was single, um, Brian had come to live with me, and okay. he, he helped me take care of it. Oh, because I Brian lived with us for uh -huh, a while? Oh, yeah, I wouldn't have been able to live, make it without him, and I ain't sure which wife he was on at the yeah, time. Yeah. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> but yeah, um, Mine was Carolyn Nielsen. Okay. She yeah. used oh, to help me Carolyn raise my you. kids. Oh, really? And I helped her with... Mike and Matt. Yeah. And oh, to okay. Yep. Oh, I didn't know we, that. Oh, absolutely. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that. So you guys kind of did the whole. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. And you didn't and have. Marty, it. We all had just just a carrier a carousel of babysitting uh -huh. kind of situation. Uh -huh. That's cool. Yep. That, wow. Again, would you tell your boyfriend to stop riding by? <laughs> tell him you. <laughs> tell him you've got a few. No, like, I wanted to give me a ride. <laughs> that's my point. You're like, hey, man. Not yet. Um, <laughs> so I guess the other thing I want to get, do you have anything in general that you want to say in just, just free for all? Don't bring out your notes. No, I mean, this isn't the end, but I want to know, do you have no, something that um, you want to just... You know, I just love talking to my grandchildren okay. about life okay. and what they want with their life. Okay. I remember talking to, and I hope I can say name, Cole. Okay. Uh, just, I want... I want them to find a love mm -hmm. of their life as I did. Okay. And to put um, things in perspective, what is it at the end of the line you want? And I want people to remember me. Right. Oh, they as will, honey. A, as an unconditional love for my family. Right. I will defend my family until I die. Okay. Exactly. I'm like the mother lion mm -hmm. at this point. Right. Don't say anything against my kids. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> I can say whatever I want. But <laughs> you That's know what? No one else yeah. can do yeah. it. Uh, everybody's the and same way. I just, I, I would just love people to be loving, mm -hmm. kind. It's so much easier to be nice. There yes, you go. I it like is. That. Mm -hmm. And that's. It takes what a lot I live less for. energy to be nice, doesn't it? I, yeah. yeah. That's what I live for. And I just I I just hope that it overrides everything else. Yeah. Whatever Eventually, I mean, this is like a crazy out, year. Twenty right? twenty. Yeah. <laughs> I think yeah, our day point. and yeah. age there was more peace in the world. We didn't have all the hatred no. and all the crimes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there was wars and stuff, but you're right. Oh, you yeah. guys we, we I'm had the, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just saying, I don't want we to, had the segregation to say a little bit. that there wasn't any turmoil, but you're right. It was just a different, like, it was just easier to kind of, right. you didn't have the outlet to just put your thoughts on anywhere and not really stand behind it. If you were going right. to say something, you'd have to say something. Yeah, I'm tired looking at some of these comments yeah, and yeah. stuff exactly. that people have. It's ridiculous. Exactly. Yeah. So what do you, what do you, uh, you were saying, go ahead. That was it. Yeah, that was oh, okay. <laughs> Mom, you stop me. What? <laughs> no, you just said, you, I know you're all about the love, too. So. Oh, yeah. 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 Um, constantly, I think um, 
every day. I, I love waking up. I love, <laughs> I love God. And look, God gets me up every morning for a reason. I yeah. ain't sure quite what it is yet, <laughs> but he does. And for that, I'm thankful. Yeah. And um, it's pretty damn nice out here. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what else I love? I love laughing at myself. Yes. Yeah. Um, I was talking I, to my I, cousin. I do too. Yeah. I was talking to my cousin last night and we were talking about uh, drinking wine and going to, I love going to wineries. Okay. And so I go to a winery. Okay. Okay. We're sipping wine. And there's one that I like and it's like 15, 16, 17, $18 a bottle of wine. And we're saying, that is really cheap. That's a good price. I, you yeah. know, I'm buying like a case of it. Right, right. <laughs> but I go to Staters and Albertson and right. I won't pay over five bucks. Because that's too expensive. For Stater, yeah. And so yeah, I, yeah. I told Gina, I said, I just have to laugh at myself with some of the rationale yeah, that yeah, goes yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. through my right. mind. That's hilarious. That, um, Isn't it weird how you would pay more out than you will in a store? Well, it is like you're looking for your glasses and they're right here. Uh -huh. right. And where's, <laughs> your, no, and where's your phone in your back pocket? Yeah, right. seems to do oh, that. I don't know where my phone is. I don't even know where it is right now. <laughs> Poor child. She has no idea. I don't. Well, you know what I have what an idea? What is this one? We have an idea that we're about to drink what Jameson is this one? Irish whiskey. Oh, 12. Yeah, proper 12. I'm, I'm pretty sure that um, Conor McGregor, the MMA fighter, is going to love that he's got four seven-year-olds drinking his whiskey. He's going to be four seven-year-olds. Seven. Oh, <laughs> I thought he said seven. I said, God, what kind of man is he? So Come what on. is that? Proper twelve. Proper twelve. It's Irish whiskey. And what does the twelve mean? I have no idea. Oh, that's not. It's that's just not Irish. proper. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> pretty smooth. <laughs> It's smooth, isn't it, Joe? No, that one's like a little... that one. <laughs> you Joe, didn't make bacon Joe's on that a, one. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, I like that one. It's that actually got me. a very, very good whiskey. I don't think so. <laughs> What's left? Oh, what do you mean, a whiskey? Lord. We have a peach and a maple syrup. <laughs> How many more we got? Two, Mom. i got to walk home to this house down here. <laughs> You'll be fine. Have you cooked the food yet? <laughs> what? Have you cooked the tricep <laughs> or whatever it's called? Oh, that's oh, a What good time point. is it? I gotta call my brother sometime. What time is I, it? I need to text Mila and see if she put that tri tip in. Oh, it's like they left. No, they left. Yeah. They, they went and to I, make dinner. I don't understand why they Ooh. snuck out. We can't see them back <laughs> they there. Act like and they're sneaking, them. <laughs> they're sneaking out like this, but we can't see them on camera. But right. they oh, they went out the same way they came in like this. <laughs> I know. Oh, they did. I missed that part. <laughs> oh, that was funny. That's hilarious. Brooks with them too. Oh, I know. She's sneaking in. It was Brooke, Lexi, I don't know where, Mila, um, and Tammy. Where uh, Cody went. Oh, he probably went home. He's like, I'm done with these women. There's too many of them. There's like, Alex is out here and Cody's in there. He's by himself. Alex said, I'm done with y'all. No, Alex <laughs> is hanging out. He's enjoying it. Um, so I guess I did want to talk a little bit about if, if it's not too sensitive a subject. Oh, God, here we go. No, I mean, so you all, we had brought up widows. So I'd like to you just to share one or two a brief of, of your favorite moments with your, you know, past husband. Oh, God, she's got a million of them. I, just the highlights, you know? You know. I mean, I loved Ken. He I was have a good them. guy. I have them. It's just being able to verbalize them. Well, I, want, I wanted to get the real emotion because um, I want you guys to understand. That my these... husband was unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he could He's sing. He's going to get us all crying. I know. He could sing. I mean, the sing? way when we were first I didn't married. Know that. Yeah. And when we were first married, oh, the only way we made extra money, if anyone got married right. or buried right. in Pomona, right. Kent sang. Did he really? I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. I mean, at this church. If he got church, married or buried, I love the rhyme, by the way. So he yeah. could sing. And so. Oh, she yeah. told us that when we were up there spending the weekend with you. I yeah. didn't know Kent could I mean, sing. Uh, and he could sing to me. Now, the only, the only bad thing is, um, not bad thing. But he knew I couldn't sing. Oh. And so <laughs> he tried to pull uh, you he in, would he? once in a while sing to me, poor Joni one note. Oh, no. <laughs> it would tease song. you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. But in the meantime, I have so uh, many songs yeah. that he sang via the family right. or just to me. Right. And the only thing I can take credit for is or on your playing some piano. Yeah, yeah, but sometimes I can nice. hear 
what should be sounding like. And he would use me as a sounding board because I could hear it, but I couldn't make it come out. Oh, wow. But he trusted me enough to say, you know, I got this one thing wrong. And I said, yeah, honey, it's that one part. And then he would work on that. But um, what was the question again? <laughs> A good, a good moment. With that, a good <laughs> like, memory. I guess the memory right? is I can, I can hear his voice okay. in my head. Still today, every oh, every day, absolutely, all the time, yeah. every absolutely. single yeah. day. Yeah, I singing. can hear the voice. Yeah, and then whenever certain, uh, and I'll go with singing because that's where he was right. with the whole thing. Whenever certain songs come up, I start crying. No, really, just on the radio uh, because yeah. that was him right and he sang them to, to me to you him. yeah yep. well, that's awesome and so that's what i remember yeah well, that's that's huge i mean because honestly singing can go on like you said that carries through different songs Forever. which you can hear all the yes. time yeah uh, mom what about you and the, mom had two husbands my father and my stepfather and uh you don't have to get into both of them but what are no, you no uh you had good da memories with dad too so just, oh yeah what do you remember quick couple memories that or what you take away if you're sitting down there and you're jamming to elvis or whatever i mean oh yeah well rolling with my elvis okay okay <laughs> he was my neighbor he lived three doors down i was 14 he was 17 it fell mainly heel over heels in love with him and to me he looked like elvis presley yeah we ended up getting married and having children and um we were happy for quite a long time and um he was in the military, and I went wherever he went until he ended up in Vietnam. I lived with his parents. And then that didn't work out. This I, is I a mean, favorite memory, not a story of how you... <laughs> oh, favorite memory probably actually was after a year in Vietnam. See, it was easy. We went to pick him up. Okay. And Lisa was... Wait a minute, let me think. She was four months old when he left. Okay. So she was a year and a half when okay. he got when back. Okay, when he got back, yeah. And she knew when he got off that plane oh, wow. that that was her daddy. Oh, wow. He was dressed in his military yeah. uniform, but yeah. there was a picture on Miss Boone's TV yeah. of him. I and we'd say, where's daddy? I... And she'd go up there and point to it. Oh, so wow. it was like when he come off the plane, yeah. she went right to him. She knew who he was. Oh, my God. And that probably <laughs> made my heart because yeah. I was... So glad to see yeah. him. Yeah. Oh, he had been gone for a year. Yeah, that's a long time. That was a long time. And yeah. then with Mike, every every day was an adventure with that man. Yeah, he yeah, was, you got a lot of memories with oh, him. Oh, yeah. I couldn't even Crazy. begin. Uh, the Crazy. day I the day I got married, probably except for later on after I got drunk, wasn't that great? But anyway, it was a beautiful day. I appreciate it. <laughs> that's the redneck wedding in her. She's talking about. Oh yeah, we ain't, we ain't going into that shit. Okay, sorry. You guys it's catch the pretty grannies on that one. <laughs> Bonna, what was but what about you? Bonna also has uh, well, her uh, first husband is still alive and lives in Arizona. Her second husband has passed. When I was married to Steve, who was in the Navy for twenty years, and I enjoyed it. We moved all over, took our girls with us mm -hmm. in different schools and different homes, and we had a lot of pleasant memories. And then when I married Charles, I loved in Hammett. I love it, but we had lots and lots and lots of good friends. We spent a lot of time on the front porch and partying nice and porch. singing and dancing and carrying on. We had a lot of street parties. It was yeah, great. yeah. when you guys moved up to Hemet, that was probably the best times for you yep. guys, for sure. Is that That's where great. you lived when, at yeah. the end with that nice yeah, development that thing? That yeah. was a nice yeah. place. It was really nice, It yeah. was great. But so you just had overall memories. You didn't really, I mean, like, what, 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 like, if you're sitting down there uh, oh. and you're thinking about... <clears throat> Charlie, what what triggers? What triggers? Is there a, is something that triggers? Like when Joan when a song calls. comes on or something? Yeah, probably when he played Sam. Yeah, yeah. that's she a good that. so She talked Chris, about that. So Christmas is your tougher time? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Because yeah. he's got a couple good pictures when he is, was a dressed couple. up in Santa Claus. <laughs> well, I mean, of, of the Santa Claus, yeah. that He was a pretty good damn Santa Claus. He did. Good. He was good. He, he was good, good at it. Yeah. 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 He had the damn beard, didn't he? For six months just to be Santa He had the real beard going on. And this guy didn't say a lot. Like, he, I mean, he was not the most outgoing person in a crowd. But he, you know, they had their own talks and stuff. But 
for him to, at Christmas, he was certainly like, yeah. he turned around a whole Every time week. I met him, yeah. he was very friendly. And... I'm just saying, like, he was just a quiet, reserved yeah. guy, is what I mean. But at Christmas, he changed Not his whole really. demeanor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I liked the time you got to spend, quality time when you got home from work and stuff. Yeah. So we're going to do another shot. And this, this is oh, going to be the Maple. Here we go, Jones. This is the Cooper's Mark Maple Syrup, Jones. Oh, God. We're going to have pancakes. Well, it is really good. If you like maple syrup. Um, look, look, look. <laughs> A woman oh and didn't want drink. I could have Joan on this show. Eat yeah, you can do a show just to her. Yeah, she's definitely a, 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 a. This is all maple syrup. You can't mess with this one. This is pretty easy. If you oh. like pancake syrup. So, here we go. I love you guys. <laughs> there you go. I love you too. Oh, that ain't bad. You guys are going to hate the last question. That kind of, well, why'd you give us this first? Because I wanted to. What's the last one? The first was the peanut butter. How hard was that one? <laughs> no, but what's the last one? I had peach. to do two. You, oh, on. peach. Okay, I can yeah, do that. Yeah. I'm going to say, don't give me nothing That's sour after this. No, it's cinnamon. Like this one. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. What's that called? I like that shit. Maple syrup. <laughs> what do you mix it with? Joan's having a hell of a moment. Well, I had a double shot. Yeah, what no, do you mix it? What do you mix something like that with? Ice. Peanut butter? No, <laughs> you put ice on it and you just sip it. <laughs> <laughs> you go, so, girl. So I know that. Hey, you said the Golden Girls. We're missing one. Who's the other one? I, I thought there was only three Golden Girls. What was that? No, Granny. there's Blanche, Sophie, Rose, Rose. Well, that's a dumb one. I guess and that's Sylvia. me. <laughs> and um, wait a minute, Rose, <laughs> Blanche, Dorothy, Dorothy, and Sophie. But wasn't there like the? So they're all four roommates. Yeah, the oh, mother yeah. and... I'm the fourth one. What are you talking Hello? about? Oh, which one are you? <laughs> I'm the tall one. The oh, you're mauled. I mean, you're, uh, you're mauled. Dorothy. I'm Dorothy, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, who's the slut? <laughs> well, you, <laughs> you put a couple of them, Mom. What's the problem? No comment. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we, her stories. <laughs> we about, already got I you. Swear, I, listen. All right, okay, well, who's the dumb one? <laughs> you. <laughs> well, no no comment. I'll be the dumb one. <laughs> All I'm saying is, these if, if you guys, if there was ever a show that I would not host ever, it would be the Dirty My Mom version. Because I oh, could, no, I, could, I, I couldn't, couldn't talk. tolerate. Yeah, yeah. That would have to be on a whole different network for people that doesn't know my mom. <laughs> yeah. It'd have to be like, just, uh -huh. oh, God. I mean, Janelle knows. Those I've stories listened are, to it for <laughs> how many years you've been married? Janelle's like, I, I'm a woman and I still don't want to hear that shit. Um, so I'm going to ask you guys oh, okay. one last question. All right, let's hear it. The big one is, though, because uh -oh. this show, and I'm about to get choked up, and I'm the host, because this show is for future memories, I want you to send a message to them on this video oh my gosh. about, you can send it to your current grandchildren, yes, but you see them every day. So... In the event that it takes five years and you're either here or you're far away or whatever, and they want to look back at this in ten years when they actually can understand it at fifteen or sixteen, tell them what you tell them what you want to tell them. Joni, you're first. Well, I have three great grandchildren right now. Oh, you do? Oh, you do? Oh, that's right. And so who? Uh, Katie's my son's. Daughter, Katie. Oh, my God. Well, I knew Katie, but she's your granddaughter. She's got kids. Those are your grandkids. And so this is to Reese, Kinley, okay. and Jack. All right, good. Please remember who we were. Create your own memories, please. <laughs> and just know that um, respect love goes beyond opinions that you may agree with or not <laughs> but um just know that take the high road on a lot of issues and know that loving your family standing by your family making your own memories reliving other memories are fine, <clears throat> but just I, I, I can't express so much that um, just loving one another is beyond money, um, mm -hmm. location, wherever, and that is what I hope they live for. So, Mom, 
I have uh, two great grandchildren from Ashley. Oh God! See, I'm terrible. Uh, <laughs> Ashley's my first grandchild. Yeah. From Lisa. Okay. And she right. has two beautiful children. Mm -hmm. uh, a girl and a boy. And um, I'm trying to think. You're trying to think what? Um. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But. But you're, what about Reese and Trevor's and Brooks grandkids? Well, kids? yeah, but I'm just saying, <laughs> whatever you all do with your life, um, remember me. Remember how crazy your grandmother was. <laughs> Although, see all the other videos. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't don't go to a doctor to see if you're afflicted, afflicted with anything. Because, <laughs> because, because of how, what's Joe in your past. Emotion. Hey, wait a minute. You ain't seen the this mess with this uh what's he called cletus cletus <laughs> so when you see me with gritty granny and then you meet cletus kenny's brother <laughs> thank god he's a twin um you'll understand and and god forbid children don't um uh, don't be afraid we're, we're normal people <laughs> We just, <laughs> Mom's message to you guys is, don't be afraid of your bloodline. <laughs> We're okay. Joan's like crying and Mom's like, don't be afraid of who you came from. No, because we raised you right, guys. And and your parents <laughs> will raise you right. And and like Joan said, love is the important thing. Yeah. That's the only thing that keeps me going. As you can tell, Mom's not a public speaker. Can you tell? Joan is. <laughs> Joan is a teacher of English, right? Oh, God, Bonna. Or were you general? Woo! It was primary. Yeah. I did everything. Oh, I'm sorry, Bonna. Are you really? So you... you yeah, well, she no, did I'm the serious. primary. What, what did you do? Like, you did, she like... She did the primary it, grade. What grade primary you were? teacher. Really? I even taught cursive. Wait, no. Oh, oh. oh, my God. They still oh. teach that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. We're not going out with a shot yet. I, I, to I like, I like the, to the Facebook thing that says... If we, it, what did it say? If we write in cursive and uh -huh. do something else, our kids won't know. <laughs> won't we can say secret code? It's like or calligraphy or, or like yeah. hidden, hidden code. Oh, it's your yeah. turn, Bonnie. Yeah. No, that's fine. Bonnie, right, so, so, what are we drinking? Nothing well, we're yet. waiting because Bonnie's oh, that's Bonnie's our, not that's done. our out shot. I just poured that. Yeah. Well, if I drank it too early, would I get another one? Yes, yes. You can <laughs> sip it all you want. This is a shy woman that was scared to come out. Oh, well, she seemed to have handled it very I well. She wasn't do oh, shy. I got more in here, but <laughs> you, you talk, we'll, we'll actually let the camera roll. It could just be you and the people. No, no, no. Okay. All right, you now go. Okay. You don't have any. Your great grandchildren, but they'll be I here someday. Them, yes. Right, she does not. Yeah, and I'm sorry. Family I forgot about is Ashley. everything. Yeah. Family is everything. Yep. As long as you keep that in mind, I mean, you can have friends everywhere, but your family's the most important, most yep. supportive, the one that give you the love and all the support in the world, no matter what problem you have. That's true. Praise Jesus. <laughs> can you tell it Sunday and I'll listen to we Pastor? love you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Janelle's crying for her future kids. She doesn't know. Who are you yet. crying for? Uh, did you call somebody's name out? <laughs> no, she's just emotional because it's for the grand great grandkids that she doesn't have yet. I'm a grandkids. I'm sure oh yeah, we do that. Any like bed. That's worst. why I gotta live another yeah, twenty yeah. years to see what they produce, because it could be a Cletus or or a mom mom. That could be scary if, either way. If Cletus comes out of one of my uh, kids' genes. Uh, there ain't no way Cletus is coming. No, there's no possible way. It might be Cletus's brother, Kenny. <laughs> what is this? This is this good. Is, <laughs> All right, here we sipping. go. All right, you what know, are we the, doing? This is peach. All right, we're going to toast out. Janelle. Here, <laughs> Janelle. come on, Joan. Janelle, Joan was going to drink this. Uh, I'll take touch. a little bit more of this one. Just a little, oh, just a little. That's all right, just a little battery. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Come on, <laughs> that was an accident. Uh. I'm sorry. Oh my God! So stupid. This uh, camera happens like. Whoa. Here, Joan. <laughs> this is Peach. <laughs> okay, I'll drink that. Man, your mother-in-law is a mess. He knows. Are you that. still nervous? It's over. Oh, it's God. over. No, I am still nervous. You got to be. That's why I'm drinking this, honey. There's nothing. You've done well. You did really good. Yeah, you did good. Honestly, yeah, you, you did. You're very. Um, I love your eloquence. Like your, yeah, you're your very speaking. elegant. You know, you can tell. I'm, I'm a mouthy. Mom, she's a, she's a eloquent is different than elegant. 
Not, Can I blow my nose? Are we done? I, we, we're still on camera. <laughs> it's just so much easier to be nice. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is. And, but I want you to know that elegant and eloquent is different. I said she's so what's eloquent. What's different? <laughs> eloquent is like... She, eloquent is like I'm dressing beautifully. That's elegant. Oh, and that's not me. <laughs> no. And eloquence is what? That you talk is like, yes, nice. She has great... She's just well, I don't have that. Well. She, you can uh, tell she was a teacher. Well, I don't have and that. And I love the way... Ken was telling us not to it. interrupt each other. We're not he, going to do that. He is I very that good at this. I my mother, Joan. But we have learned. I do. I interrupt a lot from him. <laughs> have you watched my videos? <laughs> I'm constantly shoving him out of the picture to my big mouth. I just so we could just make sure we flow and everyone gets a chance to hear everybody. And That's all. Yeah. That's I right. thought it went very well. I wanted you guys to have up. your moments. That's all it was We're about. Still yeah. On yeah. Thing. So yeah. yeah, but he... I would just really, say, he put it out right there, yeah. now, I, I was very nervous coming into yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you, you know, you told nicely. me not to pull out um, where I have this thing. Okay. Yeah. But pretty much, you covered everything I had oh, good, in there. Oh, good, good. And I, it's different yeah, today yeah. from when we oh, grew absolutely. up yeah. Yeah. And absolutely i don't know that you guys uh, even know how different the it kids is. nowadays because you didn't don't live have through it, it. Right. right they, they don't have through any it. idea yeah. I, mean, I mean me i mean i i you I, do. I only remember what i remember as a kid I, but i obviously wasn't a, an adult but, and the other issue is like i i just had my dad's <laughs> birthday last Yesterday, 105 years old, he didn't know about cars. Is he alive? <laughs> Airplanes. Right. Oh, you mean he would have celebrated his 105th birthday? Yeah, yes. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm thinking like right now is like, what is out there yeah. right now? Right. Well, um, like I said on my last, there, on space? my last thing. Anything. Anything. Like I said on my last episode, he's telling me he wants these to be memories for my grandchildren. Well, I'm thinking yeah, my great-grandchildren are going to look at this and think they need help <laughs> mentally. You know? She said they're Sputniks. They're yeah, they're going to be, be flying. They're going to be Sputniks flying around. I'm not going to talk about it over you, but I'm like, you know, the other day there was this guy going over LAX in the jetpack okay. thing. Oh, really? Whoa. He was flying over in a jetpack? Yes! Oh my he was God. in front of the planes and oh, everything. I don't watch news. Oh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He could have. So I'm thinking, like, am I going to be willing to <laughs> get on a jetpack no. where, um, whatever? Well, I don't think so that now it's, us. And I even told Cole this thing. I said, so it's not a DUI. Is it a yeah. jetpack? Uh, I saw that. that. It could be an FUI. You didn't see that on the news? Oh, my God. <laughs> He was hey. right underneath that plane. Uh -huh. It yeah. was scary. He could really? have been killed. Oh, oh yeah, it was on the news. Was I saw it. Was the jetpack fly? Are you kidding me? Right you didn't next see to it? right. What, I don't watch what news. news do you watch? I don't watch news. I watch ten minutes in the morning. And well, that's it. Oh my god! I don't know. How did you find out about the Wrights brothers or anybody? <laughs> <laughs> that was history books. <laughs> <laughs> the Wright Brothers with history books. No, I'm it? just kidding. If no. it's like, the teachers like I don't taught me know that. that I can get on a jet pack. No, thing. I'm not. I'm pretty I'm sure that's on not jet. for you guys. Well, <laughs> my <laughs> family didn't off. think well, they I'm, could I'm get in a car or I know. ride in a plane I know, or something. Same way. Um, Is dinner ready? No, keep going. Oh, okay. Then I'm done. Okay. But it's like. No, I am. I don't know if I can do it. Oh. No, you're fine. I gotta wow, go to the bathroom. Instead of a DUI, so we're done. Are we done? Yeah. Aren't we done? Yeah, but I just didn't want you to get him fart. I'm not <laughs> farting. I gotta right? pee. <laughs> we're done. And it was cut off before I went into that it little. It wasn't cut off. Pee. It's still on. Pee. It's still going. That stuff I'm gonna use. Oh, yeah. Nothing. We need, this means keep rolling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and no, this means I thought you were saying cut it off. This is like it's getting good now.